It was the night before Christmas. Hey guys, so we have my Christmas tree up and last night my husband put up the tree for us. It's so, so pretty. So long story short, we went to Hobby Lobby to go pick up Christmas ornaments for our other tree that I showed you guys. And then we ran into this tree and uh, my husband walked by and saw me staring at it. And he was like, do you like this tree more than the one we have at home? I was like, yes I do. So the next thing you know, the tree came home with us. Um, it's a lot bigger than the last one. And honestly, we didn't think we had the room for it, but I think it looks pretty good in this little area right here that kind of connects the living room and the kitchen. I'm so sorry, guys. I am so out of breath right now. But yeah, I put up a few little decorations already because I was so excited last night. I just wanted to see what it looked like. Uh, but I'm gonna show you guys all of the ornaments that I picked up. Okay, so this is where my inspiration came from originally for the Christmas tree. I wanted it to be like a gunmetal color. Our chandelier up there is a gunmetal color. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, these are really, really pretty. I got these at Home Goods, and they were kind of pricey. They were $16.99 for the set. Also found these at Home Goods. I thought they were super, super pretty. And then these have a little bit of white and silver in them. And these were each $9.99, so $10 a piece. Pretty good price for those. And the last ones that I found at Home Goods were these really pretty white ones. I got two packs of these, but these are just so gorgeous. So basically the tree is kind of like a black tie affair tree because I got the cutest tree topper from Pier 1. I'll show you guys that um, probably once I put the tree together. And then from Hobby Lobby, I got these black ornaments. They have a mixture of like matte black and then also some really pretty shiny blacks. And these were 50% off, so like five bucks, which I got two of those packages. Then from Pier 1, which is where I went to get our, um, our topper for our tree, I got these really pretty ornaments. They're angel wings. And then I also got these. Aren't they cute? So these are snowflakes. Um, the girl at the register said they kind of look like a coral reef, but it looks like a snowflake to me. So yeah, I think that'll be plenty of ornaments. I actually had to go buy all new ornaments because I totally forgot that when we gave our tree to my little sister, we also gave her all the ornaments. I almost forgot to show you guys these, but I picked these up at Home Goods as well, and they are gift boxes, and aren't they beautiful? And here is the last thing that I picked up from Pier 1. So they were having 20% uh, off of all their pillows, and then they were having, actually everything that I got, I ended up getting 20% off. They are just like white with snowflake pillows, but they actually light up. Look. So I do have to put batteries in them, so I don't know what they look like, but I'm excited to turn them on. And this is probably where I'm gonna keep them on our bar stools. So this is the progress of the tree and I absolutely love the way it's turning out. Um, I think I'm gonna stop with the ornaments. I think this is plenty. I don't want it to look super cluttered. I only ended up using one of these so I'm going to be taking this one back to Hobby Lobby. 
and I only ended up using one box of these, so I'm gonna take this back to Home Goods. That is our base. I actually ended up getting that from Home Goods. It's got really pretty snowflakes on it. I wanted those snowflakes to hang from the bottom right there. I thought it looked really cute. So this is our tree topper. It is so cute. Don't wanna do the red ribbon because our theme is black and white. So I actually found this ribbon at Target from the Sugar Paper Collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover up that ribbon right there with this. And I might, uh, I might keep that on. I think that's kind of cute. So I actually found these flowers in my little crafting closet. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and remove this entire ribbon and then just add this and add this to the little green just to add a pop of silver to it. I think that would be really, really Can't even tell that there was any red on it and I'm going to put that at the very top of the tree. Did I show you guys these already? I got these at Home Goods at the same time that I picked up the Christmas ornaments. Um, oh, let me show you guys. These go so perfect with the anthropology serving ware that I got. These are the ones that I got from anthropology. They do have the um, the gold detailing, and I just thought it would be such a nice compliment to add actual gold serving ware to the rest of like the side dishes for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And the detailing is just so pretty. And these were only $9.99. Oh, these are the little reindeer that I have up, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna keep them there. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them yet. I think I might put them by the fireplace. I got these at Pier 1 probably like two years ago. Yeah, I think I got these two years ago. They're so cute, but Pier 1 still has these, by the way, and I'm actually Kind of afraid to put them on the floor because Bambi likes to eat everything. Look at these cute little Christmas snacks. <laughs> They're in the shape of a gingerbread. Nala already has hers over there. She's like, oh yeah, I do. Nala, you have yours over there, see? So this is pretty much all I'm doing in the living room. I have this really pretty candle holder that I got from Home Goods a couple of years ago. I just need to get some candles to put right there. And then in the back I have that light up pillow. I just thought it was super cute. I'll have to show you guys what it looks like with the lights turned off, but that is pretty much all the decorations in here because you can see the tree from here. If I'm sitting in the living room, you can still get a really good look at the tree and it looks really, really cute. Okay, so this is everything that I'm doing to this room. I wanted to just add a little bit of touch of Christmas to the table and then I added the tinsel tree on this side and I think it looks really cute. I still have my pumpkin out because technically Thanksgiving hasn't even passed yet. The second light up pillow over here and here's my little centerpiece for the table. So that garland that has rose gold on it, I got it last year at Home Goods. Those cute little fuzzy trees, I DIY'd those about two or three years ago. And then I have my Z Gallery pumpkin in the middle. So really simple, but I really think it adds a nice touch of festiveness. Is that even a word, festiveness? <laughs> okay, so that is all the decorating I'm gonna do for today. Um, I am so exhausted, you guys. It's not even six o'clock yet, I'm so tired. So my husband's gonna come help me clean up and take all the recycling out, and then we're gonna have dinner. Um, if you guys like this video, let me know. Um, leave me a comment, let me know if you guys want me to continue doing these throughout the holiday season, because uh, I told you guys I'm spending a lot of time at home, because this belly ain't getting any smaller. <laughs> um, so yeah, I plan on like learning how to bake and stuff like that. Wish me luck. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you subscribe and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. Bye.